same oats, yes, they'll be seven and yes, they were oats. Welcome, beloved of the Lord. Uh, what a joy to be able to connect with you at this time. And glorify the Lord for His mercy, for His love, for His goodness. And also as we trust the Lord for His goodness and mercy um, at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> What this is a Hebrew worship song says God is our strength and our refuge in our times of trouble. We want to get on. Glorify the Lord. Scripture here. Psalm 81. As we welcome the Lord. Ashraf Fekri, welcome. is where we are coming from today and we bless the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy and for his love that endures forever we honor him for he's a good God and um, particularly for us to be able to call on the name of the Lord at this time I want to thank God for this opportunity for us to be able to connect and also to honor the Lord with his majesty and his power hallelujah You know, I want to share with you some four important things that um, we are able to, you know, receive from the Lord this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, so that you can be encouraged. Something about worship, something about something about fellowship, something about prayer, and something about witnessing, and so on. So I want to welcome you um, to come about here. I don't know if you can see the green buzzer that says. Invite you know like when you when you have this green buzzer on your profile you can be able to be added onto this video. I don't know why some profiles have and some do not have, but um yeah. I don't know how it looks on your other side. Maybe you can press on be invited into this video so that you can be able to come on.
Hallelujah. I can see you with a green buzzer. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We have uh, uh, our sister here, and uh, we want to believe God that uh, <clears throat> there she is. Yes, you're alive now, my sister. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Where you're, you're coming to me from? Where? From Nyeri. Oh wow, you're in Nyeri. Yes, I'm in Yeri. Ah, we bless the Lord, we bless the Lord, and give him all the glory and give him all the honor. Let's start with a word of prayer. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this fellowship. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to seek your face, and Lord, even to call upon your name at this time, my Father. So we thank you, even as we... Uh, go live uh, together with my sister from Nyeri. We pray that, Lord, your presence will be upon each one of us and that, Lord, your favor will surround us as a shield. So we thank you and we bless you. Give us action. And, Father, we pray even for a soul who might be watching, my Father God, that your presence will be upon them, O God, and that they will see your goodness in the land of the living and that, Father, your presence will reign even as we continue with this fellowship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So um how is the lockdown hand situation? You know, like we want to pray for the affected, the infected and health workers at this time. We want to just uh, spare mm -hmm. some time. You know, the we were told to be clapping for them. Um but I think clapping is not enough. We need to pray for the people who are in the the healthcare and also to be able to pray for the people that are in different places um that are yeah. affected in different ways so um i noticed that uh, your profile did not have the green buzzer that allows you to be invited onto the onto the um on, onto this video but we have somehow used a different way <laughs> well, thank god yeah so yeah now you are live on facebook and uh, you are live with malcolm in christ so go ahead and just share with us what is in your heart as the lord enables you and we can we're going to pray after that all right uh praise the lord i just want to invite anyone who could be watching us this afternoon my name is beth wairi mugashura coming from uh, the county of Nyeri, kenya and um, very privileged to be part of this live broadcast today. Um, the Lord has been encouraging me while we are on this journey, and especially this time of the pandemic uh, that has affected the whole world, mm. about trusting Him. Yes. About putting my trust in God and mm. not walking by things that, by sight, so we say, not walking by, not letting my mood or my joy be dictated by the things that are happening around me. Yes, I I don't know out. I don't know the the people who are uh, who are watching and where they are. But I know this has affected the whole the world over. Mm. We are all affected in one way or another. Some of us have lost our jobs. Others, our businesses have been closed down. Others, we cannot be joined with family members because we are far from each other. And our lives, our daily lives, are normal lives as we knew them are not going on as we knew them. And this sometimes makes our hearts our hearts 
go down. Sometimes we feel we are discouraged. We are wondering, God, what's going on? Yes. God, how am I going to make it through this? How yes. am I probably going to have my bills paid? Yes. That there is all manner of uncertainty with this situation. Yes. And even beyond the situation, our lives, our daily lives, we find ourselves funded by uncertainty many times. We find ourselves, we, we do not. And the human nature wants to be in control, you know? Yes. Human nature wants to be in the know. I yes. want to be in the know of what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes. But sometimes, and even with this pandemic, God pulls it away from us. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know whether the children are going to go back to school. We don't know how our businesses are going to carry on from here. Yes. There are all many things at play and we feel we do not know. But looking at it from a different angle, I was thinking, what a time yes. to put our trust in the all-knowing God. Mm. What a time to walk the walk and walk the talk that we say we put our trust in God. Yes. You probably are a Christian and maybe you're not even a Christian joining this broadcast. Doesn't matter. As long mm. as you're human and you're here, that's fine. That's right. But what a time to know that we have never been we have never been in control. That's right. We have never been. We usually go to bed every night and we sleep. Sometimes we put our alarms on our alarms on. But you know, in that time which is a uh, sleep time, you're asleep, yes. we never know whether we're going to wake up tomorrow. Yes. We don't know whether we will wake up tomorrow. Yes, we go to bed with many dreams. We go to bed with our desires. We go to bed with grand plans for tomorrow. Things are going to run like this. My life is going to work out like this. We like to feel in charge. Yes. But then we don't know when we go to bed, are we going to wake up tomorrow? That's true. Are we going to see tomorrow? Oh, right, and as right. I was thinking mm. about it, the Lord... One day uh, during this crisis, I was very down, mm -hmm. and God told me, you have never been in control. Mm. Never been. Mm. The Bible says that all the things of our lives are written by him. Mm. He knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs. That's right. So it, 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 it's a human deception. It's a lie for us to feel like we have we are in control of our lives because truth is we are not in control and we have never been in control. That's right. So it is just with reckless abandon I just call on us that we put our trust in God, that we know He's the one who dictates our going, our coming in, our rising and our sitting all the days of our lives are held by a hand bigger than us. Amen. They're held by our power group greater than us. Amen. Amen. All the days of our life, all the days of our lives, are they are never... Amen. 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 Seems we have lost a connection there with our sister, but we bless the Lord for his goodness and... Uh, as we continue to pray and glorify the Lord, I am so blessed and honored to be in the presence of the Lord together with you and uh, glorify the name of the Lord, glorify the majesty of the Lord, bless the goodness of the Lord, surround, surround ourselves with his favor, surround ourselves with his majesty in the mighty name of Jesus. So we glorify him. He's a great God. He's an awesome God. He always answers prayer. He's always in our lives. He's always calling upon us whenever we seek his face. You know, whenever we, we seek his face, he's always there watching us. So let me just speak again. Uh, hallelujah. Hey, this uh, technology, sometimes it can bring some challenges, but we, we bless the Lord for giving us uh, the time that we, are, we have with our sister, the way she has shared with us. Psalm 81, Psalm 81. We were reading this one earlier. Uh, if you are watching, you are able to get us through that one. And I just want to encourage somebody here, especially the affected, the infected, and the health workers. That one is the area we want to pray for that right now. You could be there, maybe you are a nurse, you could be there, you, could, you are a doctor, you could be there, you are an ambulance driver, you could be there, you are... Um, uh, you know, just any category of those people. I know that God is faithful and he's always answering prayer when we seek his face. When we call on his name, he's always answering us. 
And that's a beautiful thing to know that even as you are in whatever you are, whatever your situation, whatever your condition, whatever your circumstance, that you can pause in a moment and tell the Lord, Father, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the adoration, because it's a good thing, uh, um, you know, to be able to walk in his favor, to be able to walk in his majesty, to be able to walk uh, closer and closer to him in the mighty name of Jesus. So I just uh, step up here um, just to be able um, um, just to be able to encourage you, just to be able to to bless you, to be able to be a blessing to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, um, hallelujah. Just to be able to, 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 to bless the Lord for his goodness and his mercy and his love that endures forever. And particularly to just wait on him in the place of prayer continually, 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 continually. Without waning, without, you know, without going, without going, um, you know, without, without losing the zeal that we need to have as we go um, into the presence of God. Not losing that zeal. That zeal is very important. That's why the zeal that the Lord has given unto us is a zeal that we, we ought to not lose. Zeal. When God blesses you when you are born again, the first time that you are born again, you find that there is a lot of zeal that God gives you. There is a lot of energy that the Lord gives you. There are four things that are very important that I have highlighted them above here that you need to think about and you need to remember. One of those things that you need to think about is you need to not think about. Actually, you need to make them part of you. You need to make them part of you. You need to make them part of you. One of them is prayer. Prayer is like the breath of the spirit. You need that one. You need prayer in your spirit. You need prayer in your life. You need to have prayer in your, in your condition, in your circumstance, that you must pray. You must pray. And another thing you now must do is the word. So in the night seasons, as we were there praying and reading the word of God, Psalm 81, the word of the Lord says, Sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music. Strike the timbrel. Play the melodious harp and lyre. Sound the ram song at the new moon. And we thank God that we had uh, our brother, um, Blessed Samuel, from Nigeria. He was able to join us. Again, we had a, a hiccup with the with the connectivity some devices are able to get onto the invite button of uh, facebook um, invite and others do not have that function i don't know what's the mix up maybe you need to upload you need to update your your settings of facebook so that your device can be able to go live so i want to thank god for this opportunity and uh, this chance that we have again to be able to glorify the lord and to to honor the Lord and particularly to say a prayer for these health workers, even as the Lord has given us uh, unction and function to be able to do this. So I just want us to do that um, from wherever you are. So let's just join together and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Mighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your majesty. We thank you, Lord, for the different people that are affected or infected um, during this period of uh, COVID-19. We pray, Father God, that you may allow your sweet spirit to establish grace upon us. And particularly, we want to pray for the first liners, the guys who are doing the, <clears throat> the testing of people, the guys that are checking on um, who's unwell, who's not unwell. Father, I pray that you may help them. I pray that you may have your mercy upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, Father, uh, your grace will be upon them. I pray that your favor will be upon them. I pray that, Father God, your, um, your majesty <clears throat> and your power will be upon them <clears throat> in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Lord, go ahead of us. Give us your favor. And surround us with your favor as a shield in every way. So as we continue to pray, your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm receiving a call here. Let me just um, come on live. Praise the Lord. Yeah, uh, we were praying live on uh, on Facebook right now. Yeah, do you have a prayer request? Um, is it okay? Can I put you on speaker as you give me the prayer requests? All right. 
All right. Yes. Uh huh. Your the prayer requests are. Um, are you are you hearing? Can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What are your prayer requests? Okay. For my brothers and sisters. Okay. To be born again. Yes, to be born again and to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Okay. All right. Just join us uh, live. Uh, we'll pray for that uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, yeah. So at this time, I want to take your prayer requests. If there are prayer requests, just call the messenger. Um, I will not reveal your identity on the live video, so it is private for you to send a prayer request. And we'll be able to pray together, because I know that God is moving in a very uncommon fashion. He's not moving the same way that we are used to. He's not operating in the way that we should expect Him to, because He remains God and we remain people. So it's a joy to be able to pray for families, to be able to pray even at this time to call on the name of the Lord. And we are sure that he will be able to hear us and call as we call on his name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 As we call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he's a great God and we honor him and we give him all the praise and all the honor and all the majesty in the mighty name of Jesus. He remains God and we remain people. That's right. So I'm going to give another few minutes for this prayer point. So if you're there, you have a prayer request, this is the time for you to release. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We bless the Lord and give him all the praise. Uh huh. Yeah, I see another prayer item here. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you the adoration. We continue to honor you, bless you, glorify your name. There is none like you, Jesus. You are worthy of all the praise, worthy of all the adoration. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of all the praise, our God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the thanks. We give him, we give him all the glory. We give glory to the Lord. The majesty, the kingdom belongs to our God. And we bless his name. We bless his name. We bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are alive and we are thanking God for this opportunity for us to pray, for this opportunity for us to encourage somebody that is in this place um, or even watching this video much later. May the Lord just encourage your heart. Um, that's a, a, a brand new song by our sister Barbara. We bless the Lord for you, our sister Barbara. Hallelujah. And I think one of these days we're going to have her here as we hang out uh, together and bless the Lord and glorify his name and magnify his name. For he remains a great God. He remains a, a powerful, powerful, powerful help in our time of trouble. In our time of trouble. Hallelujah. We give glory to God. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We honor you, Jesus. We say there is none like you. We have received some prayer points already. I want you to know that we are open for these prayers. So if you want to share your prayer points under the comment section, you can do that. If you want to call in, you can call the messenger, messenger on the WhatsApp, on the on the um, on the Facebook. You can be able to do that, and then the Lord will be able to, be, you know, be glorified. Share this video to someone. Just tell them yes, we are live, and then. Um, that would be a good thing. Hallelujah! Sounding the trumpet. Are you, can we invite you, can we invite you?
Hallelujah, we bless the Lord for his goodness and mercy. What another thing as this earth. This is a live prayer session. So if you have a prayer request, you can head out there to the to the inbox and call. And now let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, because of all for us. And now let the weak say I am strong, yes. I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Keep thanks. Keep thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah. We have um, we have our brother Zach right here. Praise the Lord. We have our brother Zach. Hallelujah. Welcome, brother Zach. Thanks, thanks. Yes, yes, welcome to this wonderful broadcast. You are live now. Um, okay. Just uh, in a minute or two, just share as the Lord will enable you. And also, you know, you can say a prayer um, right here in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm coming to you from Messenger. It seems you're having a problem trying to add directly into Facebook. Um, yeah, but it's all, it's all well. It is well. So just go ahead and... Uh, just be a blessing to us, share with us. You have been one of our 
very you know consistent people on the 150 days of psalms oh yeah i have, I have done my best although many times uh it uh well <laughs> it just i think the lord just wakes me up at the right time so yeah that, that's why i haven't been able to miss even once hallelujah so i don't know just how it happens <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm really i'm really glad for this initiative because it's been uh it's uh it's been a season for me where things weren't working i don't know just i think it was a link that god needed me to have Yes. For waking up and and uh, seeking him in the morning, and you know when when you have an initiative like this, it becomes easier. And then things just started moving, and I'll be uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad that uh, for me, even with this lockdown, it's uh, God's economy for me hasn't closed down. Amen. It's been very faithful. Mm. It's opened new doors, opened new opportunities opened my eyes to see those opportunities and also sent destiny helpers that I didn't even I didn't even think of I didn't even know they existed people Amen. that just came into my life suddenly and um, I just think uh, my encouragement to people would be to uh, believe there's a God who listens to us when we pray when we seek him uh, there's a God who's interested in our affairs even at this time yes. when things are really big for most people. Uh, and even when we don't know that he is hearing, he does hear and he does care. Mm. That's my that's what I have experienced in this time. Amen. I don't know if there's uh, somebody who needs to hear that. Um, I, I mean, it's uh, God doesn't always answer prayers in the way we expect him to. Yes. But uh, it eventually does come through somehow. Amen. Amen. Yeah, amen. 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 So I just want you to to pray for. Also okay. remember our medics. You know we were we were told by the cabinet secretary here in Kenya at midday we should come out and clap. Now I've been looking at. <laughs> did you did you clap at midday? <laughs> Well, you said we should wake up and clap. You I said didn't we, hear that. We should clap for them at midday. <laughs> I don't know if it was oh. just one day or it was for every day. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's a time they were also given flowers, and uh, the Kenyans were not very happy about flowers. So we need to just oh, yeah. pray. So just just pray. I want us to uh, reach as many people as possible uh, in these few minutes we have, and then we shall continue okay. to uh, glorify His name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Father, we want to lift up our frontline soldiers in this pandemic, the doctors and nurses, and everyone who's uh, confronting this uh, disease firsthand. We want to pray for courage. We want to pray for, for I mean, for the, we want to pray that you will give them the heart, the confidence to know that this is not something that you cannot handle when they are when they when they invite you into it we pray that you will help them to see that you're the god who confounds human wisdom and uh, whenever mankind has been faced with crisis you have the, you've been the one who came through all the times mm -hmm. and that you will your purposes will be fulfilled whichever way i pray that you will give courage you will give confidence to them and those those, those that will be taken ill with this this disease that you will be kind enough to bring them healing yes so that they will not be they will not spread it further and so that they will may not lose any of our medics who are facing this pandemic firsthand and who uh, have had no experience of it before so that they can say we are borrowing from experience we pray that lord you will give them wisdom you will be the hands that i mean you'll be the hand that holds their hands as they treat people you will be the one that guides their 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 minds uh, there's a time we thought that things like respirators would be the answer, then it turns out they are not. Mm. So there's no one who really seems to know what this is about, but yes. you, God, are the God of our wisdom, you're the one who goes ahead of us mm. every battle we have faced. Um, I pray that they will see that they will see your hand in this. I pray for their families, Lord, that, that are having to live with, uh, with, with, with parents who come home. Uh, late from fighting this, parents who cannot explain why they're not 
able to love their children the way they used to before uh, because they can't afford to spread the disease to their kids. I pray, Lord, that you will give their families understanding, you will give the, them uh, the confidence, you will give them warmth where the, the, the family, where the parents are not able to. Uh, the, the, spouse, the spouses that are affected by this, they will not drift apart. Yes, that Lord. you will be the God that keeps the fire of love uh, aflame. So that, Lord, when this all, all is said and done, we're not going to be talking about broken families and other crises that have been born out of this crisis. We're going to be talking about how you have brought, you have used it to bring us closer to each other, mm. how you have brought us, um, you have used it to uh, open our hearts to new opportunities, open our hearts to, under, to new understanding. I pray, Lord, that in all this, we will see your hand, we will see your we will see your heart and then we will, see, we will be able to understand what it is that you're trying to speak to humanity because there's a message in this. Mm. And Lord, uh, that we will have slowed down enough to not pick up our old habits, but pick up after your new habits, the new habits that you have implanted in our hearts and in our lifestyles. I pray believing and trusting that Lord, you will see our country through this, you will see those countries that are hit hardest, like uh, the U.S. of A. And, the, and, and, and others like Tanzania, who don't seem to have the same understanding as everyone else. Lord, that you will give your wisdom to policymakers, you will give yes. your wisdom to those yes. who make the decisions, mm. Lord, that they will not uh, be using this crisis to create strife amongst ourselves, but that will be, uh, you, they will use it to have more understanding amongst ourselves, Lord. I pray that you will uh, send your spirit, send your spirit to the leaders that we have in the East African community and the global community, that they will make only the right decisions and not uh, extend this crisis further. And I pray this knowing that you've heard and you will answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, mm -hmm. amen. Amen. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. Um, looking forward to continuing and uh, being a blessing to uh, to us. It was a bit of an ambush, but maybe uh, next time I'll be better prepared. No, no, no. You did well. You did very well. Shalom. Shalom. God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. That is our brother, Zach Juguna. Thank you so much for praying um, with the medics. Hmm. Hmm. Every day with you, Lord, it's sweeter than the day before. So, um, my what uh, the messenger line is open. You can drop me an inbox there. Worship. Every evening I'll adore Every day with you is sweeter Sweeter than the day before I see you, Sister Pauline it's Sweeter than the day before So um, as I was sharing with you earlier The very, very key points that you do not need to forget is that we have four elements that are very very important in our christian faith one of them is prayer the second one is the word the third one is fellowship the third the fourth one is witnessing so right now because of this uh, time that we are having find time to fellowship online fellowship online with other believers um interact with them during uh, using different types of uh, ways get into groups that are talking about the word of god uh, join live videos like this one be participant be a participator in those groups fellowship with other believers it's very very key it's one of the points and most importantly share the gospel share the gospel let others know about jesus let others know about Jesus. Just interrupt your affairs and just do that and the Lord will be glorified in your life. So I am Malcolm David Sela. It's been a joy. It's been a joy hosting this uh, wonderful time. And we're going to meet again uh, much later on in the midnight hour. But most importantly, as the Lord gives us grace. So just 
turn on the notification button this one on 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 facebook has a point where it says turn on notification so that way you'll never miss a live video because as god has given us grace we have come out here and um and we will see the goodness of the lord we will see the majesty of the lord we will see the power of the lord and we will see the goodness and his favor and his majesty in the mighty name of jesus we give glory and honor we give you on we give we give worship um unto our king our our unto our lord unto our father he reigns forever so before i lock you out if you are told you are here you have a prayer request you want us to pray for you live or you want to come out here live and be with malcolm in christ i just want you to just drop into my inbox drop it now right now or right on the comment section and that way i will invite you to this video or i will be able to call you with messenger and we can be able to continue like this because i mean it's just new, new ways of doing um of doing the fellowship part of the word of god because fellowship is key it's important we need to fellowship with one another if you're there and maybe you're feeling depressed you know you're feeling downcast you're feeling like it's gloomy and dark i want to assure you that the god says the god of of psalm 81 verse 6 is your portion it says i removed the burden from their shoulders their hands were set free from the basket this is the word of God that I want to declare over your situation. The Lord himself, the Lord himself is able, is more than able, is more than able, is more than able. The Lord is more than able, is more than able to remove that burden, to remove that burden that is there, that burden that the enemy may want to present over you, that burden that the enemy may want to bring and the basket that he may want to put in your hands so that you may not continue seeking God. I want to ensure you that as we read out the word of God, there is something supernatural. Last night we were able to uh, share with uh, Brother Blessed Samuel all the way from Nigeria. And by the grace of God, there is something that is mentioned. He said, Numbers 10, verse 10, he says, when you are going into war with an enemy. And this is what, um, when we blow the trumpet, there is something supernatural that happens. Even when you read the different parts where... The Lord commanded the armies to blow the trumpet in the book of Joshua chapter 6. When there was a blast of the ram's horn, there was something that happened. So, as we always blast this trumpet throughout this broadcast, it is not just because we are doing it uh, without understanding. We do it with understanding. When you hear the sound of the trumpet, you need to understand that God is going to remember us. The word of the Lord says in the book of Numbers chapter 10 verse 10, it says, also at your time, oh no, verse 9, when you go into battle in your own land against an enemy who is oppressing you, sound a blast on the trumpets. Then you will be remembered by the Lord your God and rescued from your enemies. As I blow the shofar, as I blow shofar, this is the ram's horn, shofar in Hebrew. As I blow it, I know that... Uh, there is something supernatural happening in the life of somebody. There is something that God is going to do. It's a very, it's a, it's a good, um, it's, a, it's a sound that the Lord remembers us. The Lord remembers us, that the Lord remembers us. That when we sound the trumpet, when you hear the sound of this trumpet, instead of just standing and perplexed, you all run and tell the Lord, Father, remember me, Father, come upon me. As we have read in Psalm 81 verse 6, that says that the Lord removed the burden from your shoulders. The Lord removed the burden from the shoulders and the hand from the basket. Over this time, may any oppression that is coming upon your life be removed. May the burden be removed from your, from your shoulders. And may your hands be set free from the basket. That oppression that the enemy is bringing, that depression that the enemy is bringing, is not your portion. It is not your portion. It is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to believe God? Even as we pray together that the Lord is moving supernaturally. That those people that we have seen in the news, their homes have been destroyed, there is rain, it is cold, and there is corona. It is a difficult situation. But we want to pray that God will come through and remove the burdens from their shoulders and their hands will be set free from the basket in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's pray even as I blow this trumpet. In 
the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us a time to pray. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Let your name be glorified even as we've called on you. Let your power be seen in our lives, O God. Let your victory be upon us. We pray for the journey 150 days of Psalm, even as we continue on and on and on later on to pray and to continue to press on in the place of prayer. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for families, O God, at this time. I want to thank God for food on the table. I want to thank you for bread and water. I want to thank you, Lord, for health and also most importantly for protecting us, Lord God Almighty, from sicknesses and diseases, protecting us, O King of glory, from any weapon that the enemy may have fashioned against us, my Father. I pray that, Lord, according to your grace, according to your power, you will manifest. So, Lord, I pray for this one that needs to give their life to Christ. I pray that, Lord, their hearts will be softened, that your word will continue ministering to them. It is not about religion. It is not about anything else but about you, Lord. So, Father, as we conclude this service, we pray that you'll even give us a time for us to be able to call on your name and to seek your face. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. And the church of Jesus Christ said, Amen. And the church of Jesus Christ said, Amen. Amen. And the church of Jesus Christ says, Amen. So I want to encourage you, turn on your notifications. We're going to be showing up more and more and more and more to glorify God, to honor the Lord, for He's a faithful God. He's a wonderful, wonderful God. We, we give Him all the praise. We give Him all the honor. We give Him all the adoration. For He remains God and we remain human and we remain people. So remain blessed. Be blessed. All right. What's that to Rudy Kazi? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Pauline and your friends, the Lord bless you. Looking forward to connecting with you one on one as the Lord helps us. Shalom, peace. Thank you so much for watching. Oh. We have Sister Barbara Perez before we go away. Um, just before I go, I've seen my brother Ashraf all the way in Egypt. My brother, I celebrate you for watching and um, I'm going to try and call you and see if you can be able to come up. Uh -huh. Let me see if we can get brother Ashraf. Brother Ashraf. In Egypt, Umola Lenu Yeshua Mishik Eru Ichubo Alenu Yeshua Mishik Eru Ichubo Hallelujah! We have our brother. Praise the Lord! Praise God. Good to see you, Dr. Ashraf. And uh, good to see you. Um, I am in Nairobi right now. God be with you. Amen. How is Egypt? How is the situation there? Uh, the the dead are increasing and the infected are increasing. Oh, in Egypt. Yeah. I have a word for you. I want you to know that the Lord will preserve your life. Yeah, Rob. I wish. You say Amen. Amen. Yeah. Lord, yeah. 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 It's such a blessing. Okay. It's such a blessing to. What? 
It is a blessing to be able to see you after we prayed and you received Jesus. Thanks God. Thanks to you. Amen. Uh, did you listen to the Arabic song that I sent you? Yeah. What does it say? Because I'm not sure it is the correct translation. Let me play it, then you can tell us. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is, uh, um, let me try and get it. It was a, a very wonderful Arabic song that, uh, but we pray over Egypt that God will protect and, um, you will stop the people from from being so many who are dying. Here is the song again. Can you hear? Yeah. Okay, let's listen. Hallelujah. You had that one, brother? It is not clear. I uh, heard few words. Oh, okay. Um, it's the one I sent you last time in the inbox. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, it's a very uh, moving gospel song. It's uh, Arabic. And I want you to read for us something in Arabic. To read for you something? Yes, because uh, I have my friends who are in uh, Oman, some are in Saudi Arabia, some are in... Um, Beirut, Lebanon, and I know they understand some are in Sudan, they understand Arabic, and I cannot speak Arabic. What do you want me to read? I want you to read uh, the book of Romans. Romans? Romans chapter... Romans chapter 10. Romans is after Corinthians. of contents what? go to the, the where in the book it says contents what? in the Bible there is a table of contents use that one Romia 10. Romia 10. Romia 10. Romia 10, verse uh, 9 and 10. 
9 and 10? Yes, 9 and 10. And also 11. اختيار بني اسرائيل وخطاءهم. أقول الحق في المسيح لست أكذب وضميري شاهد لي في الروح القدس إني بي حزنا شديدا وبقلبي ألما لا ينقطع فقد كنت أتمنى لو أكون أنا نفسي محروما من المسيح في سبيل إخوتي بني جنسي حسب الجسد فإنهم إسرائيليون وقد منحوا منحوا التبني والمجد والعهود والتشريع وال عبادة والمواعيد ومنهم كان الأباء ومنهم جاء المسيح حسب الكاسد وهو فوق الجميع الله المبارك إلى الأبد آمين لست أعني أن الله أن كلمة الله قد خابت إذا ليس جميع بني إسرائيل هم إسرائيل وليس لأنهم لس إبراهيم كلهم أولاد الله بل كما قد كتب بإسحاق سيكون لك ناس يحمل اسمه أي أن أولاد الجسد ليس هم أولاد بل أو أولاد الموعد يحسبون نسلا فهذه هي كلمة الوعد في مثل هذا الوقت أعود ويكون لسارة ابنا ليس ذلك فقط بل أن رفقة أيضا وقد حبلت من رجل واحد من إسحاق أبينا ولم يكن الولدان قد ولد بعد ولا فعل خيرا أو شرا وذلك كي يبقى قصد الله من جهة الاختيار لا على أساس الأعمال بل على أساس دعوة منه Amen. Which verse are you? قيل لها إن الولد <تصفيق> Sorry Bless you Which verse is that? إن الولد الأكبر يكون عبدا للأصغر كما قد كتب أحبت يعقوب وأبغضت عيشه إذا ماذا تقول أيضا الله ظلما حاشا فإنه يقول لموسى إني أرحم من أرحمه وأشفق على من أشفق عليه إذا لا يتعلق الأمر برغبة الإنسان ولا بسعي وإنما برحمة الله فقط إن الله يقول لفرعون في الكتاب ولهذا الأمر بعينه أقمت الأزهر في قدرتي ويعلن اسمي في الأرض كلها فالله إذا يرحم من يشاء ويقصر من يشاء سلطان الله المطلق ورحمته هنا ستقول لي لماذا يلوم بعض يلوم بعض من من يقاوم قصد وأقول من أنت أيها الإنسان حتى ترد جوابا على الله أيقول الشيء المصنوع لصنعه لماذا صنع الدنيا هكذا أو ليس صانع الفخار سلطة على الطين يصنع منه قطلة واحدة وعساه وعاء للاستعمال الرفيع وآخر للاستعمال الوضيع إذا كان الله فأن يظهر غضبه ويعلن قدرته احتمل بكل صبر أوعية غضب جاهزاً لذلك وذلك أمين نعم أمين That's okay You have reached You have reached which chapter Which verse Twenty uh, two uh, That's okay We needed to reach only three verses I want you to just read only three verses I want you to read chapter 10, Surah 10, verse 9 and 10. Verse 9 and 10 only. Only two of them. Once more, what you want? Romans 10. Romans 10, yeah. Verse 9 and 10. Verse 9, let's see where is 9. Yes, verse 9 and 10. Here is 9. Yeah, here is 9. Yeah. إنك إن اعترفت بفمك بيسوع ربنا وأمنت في قلبك بأن الله أقامه من الأموات نلت الخلاص فإن الإيمان في القلب يؤدي إلى البر والاعتراف بالفم يؤدي إلى الخلاص. Amen. He says yes. if you... That's it? Yes. Yeah, 9 and 10. Yes, yes, yes. It says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I pray even for my friends who are watching in those Arab world that they will hear the word of God and know how to do it. Yeah. 
Amen, amen. So I want to pray for you um, and and um, for your nation, Egypt, um, and want to worship God and that uh, believe God that is going to protect you. Um, it's going to protect you. It's going to, you know, it's going to be with you. He'll give you good health, doctor. He'll give you good uh, peace in your mind. Uh, depression is not going to be your portion. Not your, not your portion in Jesus' name. Okay. There is. I am depressed, sir. Yeah, we are praying with you that, uh, and also I ask my friends who are watching to pray against depression that you will not be depressed yeah. that um, we are here to give you hope we are here to believe together with you don't forget to subscribe guys I need your support So I'm going to pray now. Are you ready, Dr. Ashraf? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. pray. I'm gonna pray for you now. Um, our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to bring this your servant, Dr. Ashraf, before you. You know about him. Um, nothing is hidden from his life, Lord Jesus. We want to pray against the depression that has come to um, steal his peace. We pray, Father God, that your hand is going to be upon uh, Dr. Ashraf, that Lord is not going to be depressed anymore. We pray that you will minister to him, Lord, even keep him away from the, the news that every time numbers are increasing, deaths are increasing. Lord, give him hope and give him the word of God. Um, I pray that you give him good health, I pray that Dr. Ashraf will continue seeing you in the land of the living, that you will bless him. Uh, you will teach him your word as he continues to read it um, in, 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 his, in his Arabic Bible. I also take authority against every idol in his life, any curse, any word of untimely death. I pray that we shall go through this valley of the shadow of death and come out stronger in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray for Dr. Ashraf that, Lord, is not going to be depressed no more because, Lord, your word says in Isaiah chapter number 26, verse 3, it says that you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because you trust, he trust in you. Father God, I pray over my brother, Dr. Ashraf, that Lord, you're going to give him peace and that he's going to experience the supernatural. As I blow this trumpet, your word says in the book of Numbers chapter 10, that if we go into war with an enemy that is oppressing us, we shall sound the shofar, we shall sound the trumpet and that you shall be remembered by the Lord. So Father, in faith, as I blow this trumpet, I pray that let there be an action in the life of my brother that he will no longer operate under the spirit of depression. But Lord, he'll experience your blessing. He'll experience your healing. He'll experience your touch in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to blow the trumpet now, Dr. Ashraf. I want, okay. to, I want to blow the trumpet and I want you to read Numbers 10. I don't know, the Bible, Numbers chapter 10. Numbers? Chapter 10. Just a minute, Numbers. I want to find it. Yes, yes, yes. We are so glad you are able to read your Bible at this time. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. You found it? Huh? You have found yeah. you found numbers. Four. Numbers chapter Four. ten. Ten, yes. Verse ten only. The... Verse nine. Verse nine. Read verse nine only. Nine only. Yes. When the Hatum Muharab the Ado fi Aradi kum yad yadur bikum bazbar fazburu bil abwaq. 
فاشكركم وخلصكم من اعدائكم وان فانف... وان فت... ايه وانصحوا وانصحوا في الابواق ايضا في ايام فرحكم وفع عيادكم ورؤوس شهوركم وكذلك على محارقكم وذبائحكم سلامتكم فتكون لكم تذكارا امامي انا الرب الهكم امين It says when you go into war with an enemy that is oppressing you that you shall sound the trumpet yeah. and God will remember you So as I sound this trumpet I pray that God remember you Dr Ashraf and give you peace that no more depression no more depression in your life So church the ones who are watching I want us to pray with Dr Ashraf in Egypt I want you to pray that he will not come under depression I want us to pray that the Lord will heal him from depression um it's not easy to wake up to sad news people are dying numbers are increasing as I blow this trumpet I also pray that the Lord will remember us in this time that we are having the oppressor So let us believe God. As I sound the trumpet, I want you to thank God. Dr. Ashraf, as I sound the trumpet, I want you to thank God. I want you to to praise, to tell God thank you, to tell God thank you for healing you, thank you for giving you life, thank you for new salvation, thank you for online friends that he has given you. You are not alone. You are not going to die. You will live and declare the word of God. Amen. Amen. All right. Father I thank you that you have done it for Dr Ashraf Fekri right there in Cairo you have visited him with a sound of deliverance in Jesus name we pray Thanks a lot Amen shalom shalom Father I thank you for quickening me to call my brother Dr Ashraf thank you Lord that depression is not his portion depression is not his portion in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I know there are others that maybe may not have come to this video, but you can see what is happening in the nations. People are going under distress, people are going under challenge. But I thank God for Dr. Ashraf that he has, you know, boldly come out and say, "Pray for me, I have depression." We thank God that depression is leaving your life, Dr. Ashraf. Depression is not your portion. You will serve God in your generation. You will not die. Listen, Psalm 1 write this down Psalms chapter 118 verse 17 Psalm Psalms Psalms I don't know what you call it in in uh, in uh, Arabic let me try and find out Psalms Psalms in Arabic Arabic Psalms in Arabic um it says it's what it's called Mazamir he said it's uh, is Mazamir Psalm chapter 118 verse uh, Psalm 118 verse 17 
is what is called Mazamir. Is it called Mazamir? Oh, let me see. Mazamir, that is Mazamir. Huh? Is it? Mazamir. Maza. Maza. Maza mirror. So that is what you call the the book of Psalms in the what is in the background is Hebrew and uh, you know I'm just amazed and mesmerized by the different cultures and the different voices and uh, the different um, dialects that God has given us in the nations that people in different tribes you know when the scripture says that every tongue every tribe when you think about it like that it is immense it's powerful in Kenya alone we have 44 tribes you know 42 but 42 in, 40, 40, 44 including the Asians the what but we want to believe God that every tribe every tongue we declare the goodness of God. We started this broadcast knowing that it's just a short video. But look at what the Lord has done. Look at what the Lord is doing. The Lord is moving in the nations. The Lord is at work. The Lord is at work. And more souls are coming. I will not tire to call them out. As they announce the deaths of Corona, let us announce the people crossing over from death to life. That even if they come across sickness or disease, even if they die, they will be alive in Christ. Romans chapter 6 verse 11. He says that I am dead already. He says that I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. So make this your confession. Make this your, your belief. Make this your trust. And continue to bless the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. Sister Celeste, I see you over there. God bless you so much. Um, right there in Seoul. The Lord bless you. My sister Purity, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Uh, our, our our daughter in the Lord, Maureen, our daughter in the Lord, Pauline, the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dr. Ashraf, Dr. Ashraf, the Lord bless you. Dr. Joe Ahome, um, in the first line of uh, this, Dr. Osborne, Tembu, all these doctors, Dr. Um, Nancy, uh, Dr. Ngei, all these doctors that the Lord has allowed us to know by name, Dr. Um, all the doctors, we just want to believe God with you, that whatever it is you are doing, that the Lord will richly reward you, for this is now when whatever you are taught in medical school, you need to begin to exercise it, you need to begin to bring it out to the fore, and that will be a good thing. I am Malcolm David Silla, I'll be back much later as the Lord enables you. More grace to you, have a wonderful time, and um, we give glory to God for giving us this wonderful wonderful time just to call on his name and to seek his face thank you so much for watching and um yeah um our sister barbara has a brand new song and she's the one that she was able to um bless us with and we will bring her on at another time as the lord enables the lord enables us so thank you so much. thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching i celebrate each one of you